long way from New York. <laughs> These kids have never seen a skyscraper made of ice. See it? Where at? Oh, yeah. Never known a silent world. <whistles> never traveled much at all. Not even in books. That bothered Professor Doug Brinkley. My experience was people aren't reading anything. Bothered him so much, he set out with 27 students from Hofstra University in New York to make the library come alive. <laughs> they have passed through 20 states so far, searching for stories that happen before they are put on shelves. Hey. Dude, that's a young boy. <laughs> Fun? Sure. But this is no vacation. Call the Wild, you probably read when you were in high school. There are Some lectures are being at lunch stops. Six hours of college credit on the line. How many barrels of oil do they pump through this a day? The cost for this course without walls is about $1,700. $1.8 billion? Is it worth it? No. Is that a book? Tom Robbins captures this like amazing world somehow in this little novel. The students met him the other day and learned how to plant a garden of words. He wants to write a paragraph where when when you read it, it's like biting into a cherry tomato and you never know which way it's going to score. They listen to the voices on the pages, but realize there is no experience like an original one. In these quicksilver moments across America, they sense that this trip will last longer than its road. The memories that remain are, are just as important, if not more important, than the actual experience. They know now that a country is made up of stories about itself. This one is the opening lines of their own.